Oh, how's it, everybody? This is another episode of my Holo Holo sessions, and yeah, this is on Good Beach Day spent with my mom, my wife Leilani, and also brother Br- brother Brad and his wife Carrie Ann. And gotta give him big props to brother Brad. Like he's always down to like learn any kind of like I guess fishing styles. And so one day I was like, "Brad, you like learn how for um get vana?" He's like, "Yeah, I mean I'm down." So yeah, so we all tag team together, all five of us inside the water, getting vana. Now usually, vana is gathered during the summertime, and when we went to get vana for this day, it, this was like I guess like the ending of October, and so you know why would we be getting a summertime food that's like you know during the quote unquote the fall time, ah? Eh? Well, um, my grandma taught this to us, and you know this knowledge passed down from her to my dad to us is that you know there's this particular tree that we look at, and when that tree is like full bloom with yellow flowers that means the vana is fat and well, me and my mom we, we drove past this tree and the thing stayed like full bloom yellow so we decided you know let's go check them out for ourselves let's see if the vana is fat even though it's like in the you know october time after we was probably gathering on the vana um brad helped me with like the process of you know taking off all the spines from the vana and so you know last time you know when i did a video about this like i was unable to show this process but now you guys get to see it um so yeah we're gonna set the vana stay inside the basket and you just you know, do what you can shake it back and, forth, back and forth do everything you can you know to take the spines off of the vana and it just falls off super easy but yeah it takes soup this is probably the hardest part of the process is when you have to shake the vana and, you know, so that all the spines come off but no, look at the vana buckle is fat like no joke the thing was like the size of like my thumb and that's like a really great size if it's the size of your thumb so my mom's super happy she gets some nice fat vana for grind so yeah mom is super happy well, since this was the first time doing this, I needed to show Brad and Carrie Ann the way to open up the vana. So I'm just doing that right now, you know, just getting a rock and showing them how to crack open the mouth just like that so that they can remove the mouth and then give the rest to us so that we can go inside and scrape out all the vana from its shell just like that. So as an added bonus, um, I saw this, so I wanted to show Brad another seafood that we gather from the ocean. And... Yeah, I'm just teaching him how to pickle pea, and you know I should have told him to put his hand on top of the pea so that thing don't fall in the water like that. Yeah, that's kind of my fault, but all good. And luckily, they had choke more op on top of the rock, so you know pickle op for them, for so that they can try try it for themselves. And I didn't realize it was also um, then on his first time. So yeah, all three of them they was they try to op and let's see how it went. <laughs> yeah no worries op is in a in acquired taste so i i totally understand her um reaction to that but all good now this is part two of our beach day um after we gathered the vana cleaned them put them inside the cooler um me and brad went jump back inside the water to shoot some fish so yeah this is the dive trying to you know, add some fish to the dinner table yeah but I don't know why it was like this because like when we were getting Ivana, the water never looked like this. It was nice and clear. But maybe for some reason I guess the wind picked up or something and you know made the thing super murky so it was kinda hard to see. And to add to this, like we forgot to bring the our the equipment so that uh, we don't have our goggles all fogged up. Yeah, like it was super like yeah, it was hard dealing with that. So you can see, you hear me getting all frustrated. I gotta deal with like these foggy goggles that would fog up every like five minutes. And so after I fixed that little issue, um, I saw this nice pakokui cruising by. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna try, try and shoot him. So I take that drop and then no luck, but at least I tried. So now in this part of the dive, like I was, checking out these yellow icolis and then i saw like brad was like close to me so i was like you know what give him a chance like he is tree prong and he probably can crack him with his tree prong so you know i try to get, catch his attention and tell him brad like bro go over there and get those yellow icolis and 
I really wanted to at least, you know, try and capture him catching one yellow eye on my camera uh, or on the GoPro. So, you know, I gave him some space. But, you know, his first shot, he missed. But, oh, He's good. He's still out. Yeah, so I'm trying to encourage him, like, bro, the thing is still there. I won't run away, but yeah, he's still there. He's still inside that puka. He's still in that hole. I really wanted him to, you know, to try and shoot on, on yellow eye caller on camera. So, yeah, I'm just kind of watching him. Hopefully, he got something. But, miss, but, you know, it's all good. At least he's trying. So, I'm kind of still in, like, in the same area as Brad. Give it my distance though, and this nice buckle kui comes cruising by. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. So I take the drop, line up the shot and everything, and then, gee, got him. So I'm super happy. Um, it's been a while since I shot one buckle kui, and bro, this is probably one of the fattest buckle kui's I ever shot in my life. So super happy now that first pakukui led the trend to just wanting to shoot pakukuis for the rest of the dive it had choke too so i'm at a different spot and i thought i was gonna get that one you can see me showing my frustration because you know that one was like in point blank range and i guess my aiming was off that's why i miss them but whatever but at least I was able to catch this one and sadly I was I never bugger wasn't recording when I shot it but at least I got the aftermath of actually catching this one on the spear so all good now this next part like I don't shame sharing with you guys you know, and I do it often too you know my lows or like my fails when I go holo holo because it does happen you know it, everybody makes mistakes sometimes when you think everything will be all cherry and lines up but you know you end up missing when you shoot no fish but you know what it's all good because Bombay or later on when you you know actually catch one fish bro that feeling is like bro, it's a good feeling and, and like it compensates or like erases those past mistakes you know and it can be like one good life lesson that can be applied you know to anything in life you know as long as you learn from the mistakes you move forward you know, everything will be fine everything will be all cherry so in the end this was a really good fun beach day we got a good amount of vana and was able to fill them up about a three quarter ways full of a quart sized container and yeah I shot a whole bunch of pukukuis and brother brad shot that nice sized nui and also one yellow ikoli too i hope you guys enjoyed this holo holo session catch you guys next time shoot